Hello everyone, welcome to the first video of how to use Linkita. In this video, we're going to explain how to add a domain name and create a short link for that domain. Um, we're just going to use the demo user for this. Um, the first thing you're going to do is head over to the domain name section and uh, click this add domain button and type your domain name here. So let's say we want to add foo.com through to the buzz, right? Um, so after clicking submit, you'll be greeted with this page. Um, so generally, you can just follow the steps one and two here. Uh, so the first one is to add a TXT record for uh, the domain name, and uh, the value is here. You can click it, and it's gonna copy the value. Um, yeah, so after that, you can just go to your DNS provider. In this case, I'm using Cloudflare, but other DNS providers should generally work. Um, just uh, create a TXT record here, and the name was foo, okay? And uh, paste the content here, click Save. Um, so what this uh, step does is basically, uh, it's a way to verify the ownership of the domain, uh, in which case we could, um, issue a SSL certificate, or rather we could request a SSL certificate on your behalf. Uh, this is mainly a way to prevent abuse. Um, there are ways to bypass this step, but it's not gonna, going to be uh, covered in this video. And the second step is to add a CNAME for the domain uh, with the value here, dispatcher dialing key the LA. Um, so yeah, so just uh, head over to Cloudflare a new record and select say name here okay and uh, the target is going to be dispatched to link here um so we're gonna ignore the proxy now uh so this proxy is actually a way you could uh, bypass the uh, first step because sso certificate uh, sso will be handled by cloudflare not by our server but in this video in this video we're gonna ignore that Okay, so once that is done, um, just uh, go back to the page and click recheck. Uh, so if things goes well, it, it, you, you should see the domain name is successfully verified. If it's not the case, you could wait five minutes or like 10 minutes, depending on the DNS provider you're using, um, or just click this button to uh, send us a message or click contact us to send us a message. And we can uh, jump onto your case and uh, help you set it up. Um, so before creating a link, uh, there's one thing I think I want to show you is you can edit your default for a for page. For example, um, you want to say, okay, if, if the user type a URL that doesn't exist on this domain, the users will be redirected to google.com, let's say, right? So we can give it a try, um, uh, hey, 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 right? So it doesn't exist and the user is now on Google. Um, now let's try to create a first uh, link here. We're gonna uh, uh, using uh, example.com as the example. Okay, uh, so what, when the link is created, you should see a page like this. Uh, on the first page, you have some basic settings like the title and target URL. Um, you can add some variables to it. Like you can see uh, uh, mobile, equals to and you can click this and add a variable there um, you can also set see if it's a 302 or 301 um, or it depends it really depends on like 301 will be more performant but 302 will give you more accurate um, access lock or more accurate uh, analytics it, it also allows you to change target URL on the fly because the result will not be cached by the um, by browsers and retargeting pixel is not something I'm going to cover in this video, uh, but it's kind of a more advanced features we're trying to offer. Uh, right now it's in beta stage. Um, okay, so on the second tab, you have traffic routing. So what it does is it allows you to select or create a future. Uh, in this case, we can see, I mean, if it does what it says in the title, this one is for uh, if the user is coming from United States, could uh, redirect them to a, to a different page. Uh, I don't know, maybe. I mean, you wouldn't do this, but like, just as example. Um, you can also add your own filters, create your own filters. 
uh, you can give it a name, select uh, the regions and um, platform, browser names, languages, and select the device types. Um, so what this page does is it'll match the users from top to bottom, right? So if the user matches the first filter, uh, the user is going to be redirected here and, uh, uh, and it goes on, right? Um, if the user doesn't match any rules, it's going to, the user is going to be uh, redirected to, to this target here. Um, we didn't save that, so it's, uh, it's reset. Okay, so in this short URL tab, uh, so this one is um, the one that's created by default when you first create a URL. But in our case, we want to actually select our own domain. Um, we we'll call it test. Okay, we're we'll actually remove this. Okay, so that's done. Um, so we can try to visit this page now. Uh, new tab. Um, the first visit on the HTTPS a protocol is going to be slower because the server is trying to request a SSL certificate for the domain. Um, but it should take yeah it's done but it should take less than you know less than a minute. Um, well apparently we have a typo because it says X mapo here and you can see like the uh, um, the variable worked right so the is mobile it's set to false. Um, but it works. Uh, but because we're on Linkilla, we have the ability to change the target URL on the fly. So I'm just gonna save that and I close this and um, I go back to here and I paste the URL and you can see it works. And this time the HTTPS request is also a lot faster. Okay, so the next page is uh, JavaScript redirection. So what this allows you to do is um, mostly for users who doesn't want to use their own domain names, right? So you can just click a link, ignore all the domain related stuff, and just include this snippet of code into your web page, and the user will be redirected uh, through their destinations according to the, your settings here. And it it will also generate the analytics log. Um, similarly, you have gateways. So gateways are like the server-side version of uh, JavaScript redirection. Basically, you download a PHP script and upload it to your hosting provider, and visitors of that uh, PHP script will be redirected according to your settings on Linkilla. And uh, analytic, analytics logs will be generated. Um, so I think that's it for today's video. Um, obviously, you can also see your uh, visits. Like, uh, for example, the, today we have like food as through uh, to the bus and it's visited twice. That's all by us, right? So you can see device types, languages, and operating system, things like that. Um, we'll go through uh, more details of analytics on Linkita, um, but that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching.